This is your marketplace. That's a three. Yes. That's a three. Yes. First one to the field. First one to make money. We get a job on the inside to learn the bell okay. sell. Sales All secrets right. revealed. They're only paying us for commission. So they're only paying us if we make sales. A special go public marketplace investigation. How not to get duped at the door. We're going undercover. We're waiting for the people to come out. Following door to door sales reps, selling Bell Canada's latest home services. We've heard a lot of complaints. So we're doing something no one's done before. I'm your friend, are you? Getting one of our own hired at a company that sells Bell door to door. So right now we're full time work? Yes. And how soon can you start? We want to learn for ourselves why people who buy in feel misled. Hello? Gary Jemis remembers the front porch sales pitch. If I had just come to the area and that's why they were calling on people. They're selling five internet and TV. Bell offers blazing fast internet and industry leading security features, all on Canada's largest fiber optic network. They were offering some uh, very good incentive uh, as far as pricing was concerned. For TV, internet, and home phone, Gary says the sales rep guarantees a monthly price of $145.90 for two years. I asked him, is there gonna be any increases? And he said, no, 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 You've, this is $145.90 and it's gonna be for the full 24, 24 months. With that guarantee, he signs up. But his monthly bill does in fact go up a few bucks. It's not the dollar value, it's, it's the principle. If you say you're guaranteeing a price, you better back it up. Is Gary an isolated case, or are other reps selling Bell making false promises at the door? We're about to find out. Our undercover producer arrives for door-to-door -door training. I'm here for my first day training. She's here to learn all the sales tactics. So, so how's the training going? Mohammed Abdelhadi is the man behind Mox One Business Solutions, a subcontractor hired to sell Bell. Do you know your intro? I hope so. Okay, let's, let's hear it. We rehearse a sales script. Because your name is on my list, you are eligible for fantastic deals. Mohammed's making sure we know our lines. Yeah, huge. Huge deals. Ongoing. Ongoing deals. Discounts. <laughs> Huge ongoing discounts. You got it. So, We're told to stick so to that training one, script. You know what's really cool about this one? It works. And this one is teachable. Everybody can make a ton of money. From it. The promise of money is a big motivator. Hey! All right, cool. How's everybody doing? Good. Cool. So, who likes money? I do. Yeah, everybody? OK. The team is made up of mostly 20-somethings. Uh, me and my team are going to own an island. With big dreams. Are we ready? Ready? Hey. Right. One, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Yes. yes. First one to the field. First one to make money. With script in hand, teams fan out to neighborhoods outside Toronto. Over seven days, we shadow trainers day and night. They hit hundreds of homes a day. Hi there, how are you today? Oh, I'm Reps are given leads by Bell, names and addresses targeting potential new customers. Okay, well, Bell gave me this paper to tell you that I have your name and your address on my list. Mm -hmm. You qualify for a huge discount with Bell Canada. John Lawford's a lawyer who heads up the Public Interest Advocacy Centre, a consumer watchdog. We advise people to be, you know, extremely careful the door. He agrees to watch along. So if you're game, let's take a look at sure. what they say. Great. First up, the pitch on price. Now this price is an ongoing price in Canada forever. Now you said that you're paying about 150, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. We might pay a little bit more if I think, uh, He's saying that that price never goes up. Never goes up because you're forever price. No. So for any of these services, <clears throat> right. 192 is the maximum you'll ever be paid from that. Forever? Really? Gary's price was guaranteed too, but his bill crept up. He called Bell to find out why. 
They said, well, it's uh, in the contract that we're allowed to bill you uh, if our administration costs go up uh, and other incidents other than the service itself. Yep, Bell says prices are subject to change. It's in the fine print. Section 18, what additional charges may be applied to my invoice? Bell may charge additional fees to offset. A key detail Bell says it requires customers be told, but Gary says it was never mentioned. Back on Hidden Camera, same story. It'd be 172, okay? So it's kind of an ongoing price. Not once does our undercover producer hear sales reps reveal that price could go up. Your forever price, your the maximum price Bell can yeah. ever charge you. A forever price. Yeah, I would, like I would, it's... I would interpret that as being uh, going past, say, a two-year contract and into another period of time. Is that problematic? Uh, yes, because if their contract comes in the mail and it says the price may change, that's it's contrary to what's said at the door. So overall, that can be enough to. Um, you know, mislead a consumer. There have been many times where the Competition Bureau of Canada has gone after companies for talking about uh, a guaranteed price for a lifetime or forever. And it's not just the forever price. Sales reps are also twisting the truth about another deal, a one-year promo discount. Now, what I'm going to do for you guys, to make sure it's worth my offer to switch over yet, it's only going to be $106, okay? Now, that's not just for a couple months kind of thing. This is price guaranteed for us for the full year. New customers get a special discount for signing up with Bell at the door. Because we are going door to door though, what I'm gonna do for you, it's very simple. I'm gonna give it to you for about $131, okay? I'm not gonna give it to you for three months, nor I'm not gonna give it to you for six months, okay? But I will give it to you for one year. And here's the thing, they also lead you to believe you'll be getting that one year discount year after year. It's part of their training. If you choose to stay with Bell, give us a call and get another promotion. Like it's so easy to get the same price after one year, even better price. Sure enough, out in the field. The yeah. second year, we give you guys the same exact prices. And you do have the option of renewing your promotion or getting a better price as well. But some of Bell's call center employees contact us, warning they often can't renew those deals at the door, so sales reps shouldn't be making that promise. It looks like they are promising something that they can't deliver. Yeah, it looks that way to me too. That's law school 101 is you can't guarantee the outcome of a negotiation, right? And it's, uh, it's unfortunate that it looks like it's being used to try to entice people into a sale. Hello? When Gary called to complain. He says a customer service rep confirmed he's not the only customer feeling duped. Customer service uh, basically responded in that, yes, I know we've had some issues with this situation where uh, other people have uh, not been given the full story and, and uh, are dealing with the same situation. I said, well, it, I think it's up to, the, up to Bell to honor what was uh, basically told us at the door. But Bell won't budge. He says the sales rep told him he should have read the contract. You can't just put the responsibility just on the consumer because the consumer is relying on a Bell representative. Time to let you in on another sales tactic. We learn how to sell you on speed. One really easy thing they can do is like if they ever do a speed test on their phone, 100 times out of, like 99 out of 100 times, their interest speed is not what they're paying for. Sure enough, in the field, the rep gets this customer to test her current speed. It says it's doing speed test. And it doesn't look good. Your download speed should either be 60 or 100. It's 3.95. So this number should be 60. Right, so how come I'm at 3.95? You're not getting what you're paying for. Yeah. That's what I'm just trying to let you know, right? The rep promises Bell can do better. What Bell is promising you guys is this. The minimum you guys receive across any of your devices, it's 50. That is the minimum. For download. For download. Okay? She's sold on speed. Signs up with Bell. Can you make those speed guarantees? 
Interestingly, most of the contracts, and I've looked at Bell's, uh, has a clause saying there are many factors that affect your speed. So How does that sit with you? It's an important factor. Speed is right after price, so it's disturbing because it, I think it can mislead somebody into signing up for a contract. Yeah. The high-speed pitch worked for this homeowner. She got five installed. So, do those promises stack up? Time for us to make a house call. Hi, Rona. Erica. Hi, Hi, Erica. Nice to meet you. Nice Come away in. Thank you. We tell Rona Carlton about our undercover work. What was it about the pitch that you found appealing? We had some lagging with computer speed. We thought we could improve our computer speed. But when we take a look at the actual pitch... What I'm doing is I'm going to bump... Uh-oh. We lost signal on your <laughs> Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay. That's we get the Wi-Fi back. Because this is your download speed. My download speed right now, it's like 50 times way better. because I'm. What was her promise to you? Broad. You're going to get 50 megabits per second, and that was supposed to be the minimum. When the sales rep came to your door, she got you to do a speed test. Let's do one now and see what you're getting. OK. We use a Google speed test, same one the sales rep used. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. So that's interesting. 3.18 is your download speed. So it hasn't improved at all, mm -hmm. according to the test she did at the door. Correct. Yeah. This is not 50 megabits per second. Bell advertises up to a specific speed, but the sales rep went further, guaranteed a minimum speed of 50 megabits per second. Do you feel misled? Absolutely. We know different tests sometimes turn up different results, so Rona takes the Bell speed test too, the one recommended on its own website. Her speed is better, but still short of what was promised. If you're selling me 50 megabits per second and I'm paying for 50 megabits per second, that's what I should be able to get. So meet your commitments. More sales tactics revealed. So let's go downstairs and see exactly what kind of setup we have down there. Promised fiber optics. This is the wiring coming in from outside. So where is it? And we go looking for answers. Hi, Mr. Abdelhadi. Erica Johnson from CBC. This is your marketplace. The real deal on your marketplace. Marketplace and Go Public are teaming up, investigating door-to-door -door sales for Canada's biggest telecom, Bell. Would you stop a bomb behalf of Bell? We're tagging along, undercover, to hear the pitch. Bell is taking over the market because we have five in order to using a lot of customers. So far, sales reps are misleading customers on prices. Never go up to do forever And speed. This is not 50 megabits per second. Another sales tactic to sell Bell, emphasizing fiber optics. I should just upgrade the entire area with the new fiber optics. We actually finally have fiber optics in this neighborhood. We just upgraded this whole neighborhood to fiber optics. Fiber optics sure was a selling point for Gary Jemus. They mentioned that, you know, it was fiber optics and that that's the best quality and uh, you're going to get the uh, highest speed from an internet standpoint. <laughs> So see exactly we asked to see out. those fiber optic cables. This is the wiring, but inside, as you can see... It's not a fiber optic cable, it's just regular copper. At the door, they said we were getting fiber optics. So, you know, there's a, a major, major issue that I think has to be addressed. So what's really going on? In Gary's neighborhood, fiber optic cables only go to a box on his street called a node. So this is where my supposedly fiber optics is going to my house. We are at least 300 feet from our house. From here, it's old-fashioned copper wiring back to his home, meaning he can't get the same speed as an all-fiber connection. What they told me at the door isn't correct. I don't have fiber coming into the house. I have fiber at the road. So I'm not sure technology-wise uh, if and when that's going to be available to me into my home or whether that's just 
marketing employee that they have. So what's the impression being left at the door? Yeah, how should you just upgrade your neighborhood with fiber optics? Mm -hmm. you give you your own private dedicated office. Okay. Fiber optics. Our undercover producer questions that because the rep knows this neighborhood is just like Gary's. It's not fiber direct to the home. But it's it's not fiber optic. It's, it's copper. It's fiber to the home. It's still fiber optic. Everything's still fiber optics. Yeah. Just say that everything's fiber optics. Certainly, Bell needs to wake up and and uh, come to the come to the party uh, and and make sure that they deliver what they say they're going to deliver. We've sure got questions for Bell, so we say let's talk. We've been trying for some time now to get an interview with somebody from Bell to talk about your door-to-door -door sales reps. Will Bell ever answer our call? While we wait to hear back about an interview, our undercover producer's getting a pep talk with the team heading back out to sell Bell. We have so much money on the table this week. By the way, we still have the bonus. You guys know that, right? Mohammed Abdelhadi runs Mox One door to door sales reps for hire. All right, you guys ready to shit up today? He pumps up the team. The chance to make good money is what enticed Chris Weiss to join that team two years ago. I had the impression that um, I would be making a roughly $1,000 per week. But there's serious pressure to sell to make that kind of cash. They're only paying us for commission. So they're only paying us if we make sales. Mostly on commission, working six days a week, knocking on doors for hours. One of the first quotas that we would have to do is basically we would have to hit 60 houses on a night. We're putting our soul outside of the door and we have to do everything that we can do to guarantee a sale for the company. To guarantee that sale, he was trained to literally get a foot in the door. I would just basically uh, point in front of the doorway and uh, stick my hand in front of the household so that they know that I want to get inside, especially considering this is a very cold environment. In training, we're told to use the weather to our advantage too. The key between like whether you can be a successful sale or like not a successful sale is really stepping into the house. Uh, the one thing I like to do um, is like, if it's cold outside or it's hot outside, I'll just talk about the weather. I'm like, hey, like, it's super cold outside. Do you mind if we just step inside so you don't freeze to death? Out in the field, it works. Yes, it is cold. It is yeah. cold. I was wondering if we just step in really quickly. I knew it was cold. Yeah. yeah. Do you mind if I step inside? So is it actually okay if you step inside now? For Chris, the pressure to sell was too much. After two months, he quit. He has a message for the people he pitched at the door. I have to take responsibility for my actions. I want to apologize for misleading them. So not talking to them about the fine print that's going on into the contract. And that was a big issue that I have. And I really want to say sorry. Coming up, we catch up. Bill, it's coming this way with the man behind those reps selling Bell. Well, please tell us what you say to customers who feel misled. This is your marketplace. Telecom tricks on your marketplace. Caught on camera. Misleading pitches. The maximum price Bell can ever charge you. On prices, promos, and speed. Hi there, how's it going today? All right. Consumer advocate John Lawford says it's time for change. If this is a widespread practice, uh, it means Canadians are getting ripped off at the door in quite a big way. And the question would be whether anybody's ever going to do anything about it. We're still waiting for an on-camera interview with Bell. A spokesperson keeps telling us he's working on our request. There's a black SUV it's just on the other side. So how about the boss behind those door-to-door -door sales? Bill, he's coming this way. The man who trained us, he won't give us an interview either. Okay, ready? So we're knocking on his door. Hi, Mr. Abdelhadi. Erica Johnson from CBC. Do you have a minute to answer a few questions about your operation? Uh, you just talk to Bell. Why are you training your salespeople to mislead people at the door? 
Talk to Bell. Thank you very much. You are responsible Please for Bell. Please talk to Bell. Thank They're you very much. Bell uniforms. You're training people to mislead customers. You can talk to Bell. Thank Why you very much. Why are you doing much. that? I'm not the qualified person for the interview. Well, you're training people, sending them out door to door. They're making promises that they much. often can't deliver Thank you very on. much. Well, please tell us what you say to customers who feel misled by you your salespeople. You can sales talk people. to Belle. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. No answers at I all. I really appreciate it. We'd appreciate it if you'd you stop misleading much. people at the door, sir. Thank you very much. You can talk to Belle. I really appreciate your time. See you. We'd like to talk to Bell on camera, but after weeks of asking, no luck. Instead, Bell sends a statement saying, the examples of the sales practices you provided are in no way aligned with Bell's commitment to providing the best customer experience possible. It also says Abdul Hadi and his Mox One crew will no longer be selling Bell at the door. Ties severed for breaches of Bell's policies. Bell adds, we apologize to anyone who may have been adversely affected by this conduct. As for Rona, an apology may not be enough. The customer is the be-all and the end-all. Misled on price and speed, she hasn't ruled out leaving Bell. Don't create somebody who's an unhappy customer right up front, because that's what's happened. The deal at the door hasn't exactly made Gary a satisfied customer either. Transparency and honesty and integrity is a major part in keeping a customer. After hours of fighting Bell, the telecom says it will give Gary some money back, 81 bucks. But it was never about the money. Well, a pot of gold is many different things. I will be very happy if, if this helps somebody. That's my pot of gold. If you feel you've been duped at the door or on the phone by any telecom provider, check out our Marketplace website and fight back. The dirty truth about makeup. There's no way to actually clean on the floss tester. Like, how would I clean it? So the next person that tried on the blush tester would be putting that on their face. Oh, yeah. From blushes and bronzers to lip gloss and lipstick, is it a case of try or beware? That's unbelievably disgusting. Coming soon on your Marketplace.